Learning to play an instrument is an important skill for the students, and the access to instruments are limited, especially for young students who are poor and can't afford to buy. The recorder can fill this gap. It is a small, portable, and affordable instrument. The recorder can be a gateway instrument for young, aspiring, and developing musicians. And I am so excited for today's video for I will be bringing you into your first recorder lesson. So, let's start after my intro. Hello everyone, if you are new to my channel, I am going to introduce myself first. I am Kaihi Plian, I am 21 years old, and I am from Leyte, Philippines. I am creating video tutorials on how to play the recorder, making song covers, tips, and the like. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel, and if you want to be notified on my next uploads, feel free to click that bell icon so that you will never miss a thing. There are three important skills in making a great sound on the recorder. First, we need to learn how to use our breath. Second, how to properly handle the instrument or how to completely cover the holes on the instrument. And we are going to learn the technique called tonguing, in which we separate each notes using our tongue. Let's start with our breath. Pretend your finger as a candle. Go ahead and light the imaginary candle. Breath slow, gentle, warm air into the candle. Just not to make the flame dance. Okay, let's try with a real candle. Go ahead, blow slow, gentle, and warm air. Not just to make the flame dance. Of course, it will move, but at least it is not dancing like a hip-hop. <laughs> now, use the same slow, gentle, warm air into the recorder. Don't cover any holes yet, just blow into the recorder. If it sounded like this, And that might be a little too hard. Medyo malakas yung pag-ihip natin. Dapat gentle lang. Okay, match my sound. If you are able to match my sound, great. Go ahead and you can move on. Pero kung gusto mo pang mag-focus sa pag-blow, go ahead. Feel free. Now, let's talk about how to properly handle our instrument or how to cover the holes properly. So, this is our left hand. May makikita ka yung letter L. Pero dyan sa video, you are not going to see letter L kasi baliktad. But in my perspective, it is letter L. See? Letter L. Now, use our left thumb to cover the back hole. Make sure to use your fingerprint or your finger palm to cover the hole, not your fingertip, not like this, but like this. Then, our first finger on top. Ganyan. Again, you need to cover the holes completely and then use the same slow, gentle, warm air that we have practiced earlier. Your right hand will not cover any holes yet. Ilagay lang muna natin siya dito sa baba. Then, try this. If you didn't get that sound yet, it might be may mga leak dito sa ating holes. Kagaya nito. Nakikita niyo yung maliit na butas na yan? Yan yung leak. Ibig sabihin, hindi natatakpan ng maayos yung Hole. Ganito yung magiging sound niya. 
and unlike this one. So, magkaiba talaga sila. In order for us to know if we can completely cover the holes, we have the donut test. It doesn't mean we're going to eat donut, but ganito yung donut test. You just need to put your fingers on the holes like this. Then you press for seconds. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then you will see. Dapat may circle kayo na ganito na parang donut. Pag mayroon kayong ganito, ayan, it means you cover the holes completely. Congratulations! So, let's try it again. Cover the back hole with your left thumb and then the top hole with your left first finger. Then, blow the same air. If you have made that sound, then congratulations, you have played your first note. And that is the note T or letter note B. As you can see, this is the fingering chart for the note B or the note T. So, ganito yung fingering chart ng bawat note. Kung may black, it means you are going to cover the hole. Then kung white lang siya, you are going to open the hole. So, hindi ko naiisa-isahin yung mga note because I already have the video where I show how to play all the notes on the recorder. Then, the link is below on the description box. Now, let's go to tanging. Tanging is when you separate note using your tongue. Most of the beginners separate their note using a wrong technique. So they just go hu 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 hu. So it will sound like this. This is not what we want to do. Instead, we want a sound or air separated using our tongue. So say this do do do. Your turn. Do, 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 do. Did you feel what your tongue did whenever you say do? Your tongue will like do, do, do. Now, try to whisper that pattern. You? Now, Try whispering that pattern while playing the note B, like this. Your turn. Very good. Tanging takes time. So, kung hindi mo pa siya nakukuha, be patient. Practice makes perfect. Or practice makes permanent. Lastly, for today's video, I am going to share with you the conversion of letter notes to sofa syllables. Let's start. C is for Do. C sharp is Do sharp. D is for Re. D sharp, Re sharp. E, Mi. F, Fa. F sharp, Fa sharp. G, Sol. G sharp is Sol sharp, A La, A sharp La sharp, and B is for T. Then C in second octave, we also have Do in second octave, and so on. So that's it for today's video. I hope na may natutunan kayo. This is Kaiplian saying, keep practicing, keep perfecting, and keep on blowing mga kaihi.